My name is Lindsay Vicknayer and I am the PE teacher and athletic director of Sacred Heart School. Patrick Dockery, who is a Spelling Bee finalist who's going to Washington, D.C., was surprised by um, the coach of the River Kings. We thought, uh, you know, with Patrick being a big hockey fan um, and his favorite, uh, favorite player, uh, Kevin Beach, uh, we, we brought in some special stuff. We bought a Kevin Beach uh, goalie stick signed and a puck signed by Kevin Beach, an 8x10, which uh, wasn't signed as Kevin Beach had already left town. Um, and also just a t-shirt, uh, some other uh, uh, Mississippi River King stuff. And uh, we just wanted to, uh, again, ac acknowledge uh, his, you know, his accomplishment, his, uh, uh, what he has done for uh, Sacred Heart School uh, you know, here in uh, South Haven. And uh, we wish him the best of luck uh, up in uh, Washington, D.C. I have this speller profile for the National B and said, one, name one person you want to meet. So I put Kevin Beach. I just typed it in and then poof, the River Kings appear out of nowhere. Well, I guess it's a little bit of a surprise. Uh, uh, we had it set up where uh, we were going to interview the teacher while the class kind of sat down and uh, so they didn't know what was going on. I was hiding in the boys' bathroom. I was asked to take my class up on the hill, let them do a few activities, and Miss Warwick, our principal, called me down for the surprise. The kids came in, sat in their spot. We pretended to interview me. and. Um, to the children's surprise, the coach of the River Kings came out for Patrick. And uh, on, the, on the queue, we uh, uh, again brought out all the stuff and just uh, uh, Bob Bach and had uh, you know, a lot of good things to say to uh, Patrick and uh, I rewarded him with a bunch of uh, uh, trinkets and stuff. And Well, I just got a, an autograph stick and puck autographed by Kevin Beach and I got a bunch of other cool River King stuff like this shirt that I'm wearing right here. Uh, I think he was very, uh, I think very surprised that uh, we were there to, uh, to do this. Well, I had overheard my dad's conversation on the phone with Miss Warwick, and I knew something was going to happen at one, but I didn't know what. So he seemed to think he knew what was going on, but, but I think he was a little bit surprised. I was, I was happy. I'm going to hang up the two posters and the pennant in my room. I'm going to put my uh, puck with the other puck that I have and I'll just put my stick somewhere where I can always look at it. I think it's neat because you know when I worked there I got to see the stories and hear about the stories but I was never actually involved with the story so to be a part of it was a pretty big pretty big deal. On the ice we, we do our thing and uh, but to, uh, to be involved in the community whenever we can it's just uh, it's a great uh, Great honor to come out, meet new people, and uh, and hopefully, uh, like I said, it'll be. I, I think Patrick will uh, uh, remember this for the, for the rest of his life. And uh, like you said, he's a big River King fan, comes to the games all the time, and uh, uh, I'm sure we can't wait to see him next year. It seems pretty much like everyone that lives in this area is a River Kings fan, and if you're not, you're kind of looked down upon. Patrick's a good kid. He's a he's a great athlete, and he's a great student, and, and it's a joy to have him in my class. Uh, again. Uh, Obviously, Patrick has uh, unbelievable work ethic. Uh, uh, obviously, he's got great values. He, you know, he stays home and studies, uh, you know, all weekend long. Uh, so it just shows uh, what kind of work ethic uh, uh, you put into it. Uh, you know, you get out of life what uh, you put into it. And obviously, Patrick's uh, put in a lot here uh, to get to this far to uh, for the spelling bee up in Washington D.C. If I'm on ESPN, I will definitely wear my River Kings shirt.